At the beginning of the summer, I weighed about 315 pounds, and today, I'm at 207 and a half. This was me um, before my surgery, and uh, these are my pants. So, these are my pants. This is the belt I wore into the hospital. Now, how did they do it? For years, these people, like so many other overweight Americans, had serious health problems because of their excessive weight. Diabetes, hypertension, even cancer. They tried dieting and exercise and more dieting. They lost weight only to gain it back. They suffered stinging criticism that they lacked willpower. Their self-esteem was rock bottom. A few days from now, I'm gonna have gastric bypass surgery. And in that surgery, the size of my stomach is gonna change basically from the size of a football to the size of my fist, even smaller than my fist. Marie Melewish is 52 years old, a nurse. She is self-conscious about her weight and won't reveal it. The weight loss surgery she's about to undergo will change her body and her life, and she's apprehensive. I'm scared, and at the same time excited. Not so scared that I'm not gonna do this, but it's very normal, I think, to feel this way. And she has reason to be scared. The risks of weight loss surgery are similar to those of other major surgeries. I try to put it in perspective for patients and say that this surgery is only second or third to heart surgery or brain surgery. Marie is about to have gastric bypass surgery. Dr. Mylan hopes to perform the surgery laparoscopically, avoiding major open surgery by making six small incisions in the abdomen using long instruments guided by a robotic camera. The paramount issue here is safety. If we can see what we need to see on the inside, if the liver isn't too big or too heavy, uh, or if there aren't too many adhesions from previous operations, then usually we can do it laparoscopically. She'll lose anywhere from 50 to 75% of that excess body weight. It is three and a half months since Marie's surgery. She has gone down three sizes in clothing, and she finally feels self-confident enough to reveal her weight, something she never told anyone at any time in her life. I weighed 302 pounds, and I never would have, I wouldn't have told you that. I didn't tell you that because I just, I guess I didn't want to admit that out loud that that really was what my weight was, and that even wasn't my high. Okay, so today I weigh 237 pounds. 237 pounds. Marie has lost 64 pounds since her surgery in August. And except for a few bumps in the road, things have gone very smoothly. My back, I used to have lower back pain. The back pain is gone. I just, this amount of weight has made drastic changes in my body. Changes, both physical and emotional. I just feel happier. It's just like little problems don't bother me. I've been told I walk taller. I walk with more pep in my step than I did before. It just feels so good not to have my body hurt all the time. Marie literally feels she has a new lease on life. I pretty much had myself resigned to the fact that I wouldn't live a long life because most of the people in my mother's family didn't. Now I can think about retiring and I can think about watching my nieces and nephews grow up and I just feel like I'll be here for a lot longer than I would have thought.